a proud product of my generation. I can beat down, ridicule, criticize, and talk to them. All by the generation that came before me. A generation of the same race, a generation of the same culture. A generation who is and has raised me and my peers, fathers and mothers. They criticize our ways, our new found ways, our music, our habits, and their famous phrase is, well, back in my day, not realizing that that ain't well appreciated, but a long gone line. You can't ridicule this generation that you helped shape, raise, prepare, and create it. And maybe our actions are just after effects of your teenage years. And I've heard speeches all my life about my generation is this and is that, and that we have such a large job to do. But maybe our workload wouldn't be so full if we didn't take so many off days during your work shift. <laughs> maybe our young women are so promiscuous because we live in homes that are festered with this demonic spirit of fornication because our mothers are allowed to have boyfriends so that they're unmarried. And maybe our young men have no clue how to actually be a man because either their father is too busy to work, doesn't really want to deal with the mother, or he just doesn't care. Did I get hurt? I really didn't mean to, to offend anyone today. But now let's clarify. The generation before me has us prepared a way for me to even be able to be here today to speak with my brown skin. And truthfully, my generation is the type to skip school and do, do nothing, while your generation is the type to skip school during D Day to fight off police, racist, racist police, and then canine dogs and host fights just so I can have fear today. And your generation also is well recognized for the extreme racism in your youth. But while those situations have been publicized, sympathized, and once again well appreciated, year after year after year after year, no one's paying attention to the history being made today. My name is Gary Odamron. I attend Bodyfield Middle School. I'm in the eighth grade. And I do Trayvon Martin because it symbolizes the growth and prosperity that we had in black people. And it's it kind of shows that it's grown a lot, but at the same time, we still don't get our full justice, which how we should. A $25 arch card and a $100 cash money. Our third place winner for the high school division is David Parker of Fairfield High School. color doesn't matter and I have freedom of education, choices, and whatever jobs that I want to do. We'd like to celebrate with Cameron Greer Shepherd.